prom season, whatever you do, just make sure you dance. Don't be that person standing up on the wall because you're embarrassed or you think you're too cool. Nah. Hey everybody, Parker here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, we focus on building your confidence through fashion and lifestyle choices that are not gonna break the bank. So if you like the sound of that, join the gang. For those of you who are lucky enough to actually still get a prom this year, this is the perfect opportunity to rock an outfit that you would normally never get the chance to. You can be like me and wear something like this that's super embarrassing to look back on, but also pretty hilarious when I think about it. Or you can go in a couple of other directions that we'll talk about. Yeah, that's seriously what I wore to my senior prom. Rule number one before you even go anywhere with this is that you have to talk to your date. See what they think, talk it over with them, maybe figure out if you guys wanna kinda of do a matching thing, what your game plan is. So after you've talked to your date and you're figuring out what you wanna wear, there are three different directions you can go in. Going super classic with a solid black tuxedo is dope, especially if all you're worried about is just looking your best. That super classic James Bond style, it's always gonna look good as long as you pay attention to the right things. The most important thing, as always, is to make sure that it fits you because even if you have the nicest brand of tuxedo, if it doesn't fit right, it's not gonna look good. You want the jacket to be nice and snug when you button it. Not like skin tight, but you also don't want a whole lot of room around the sides. A great rule of thumb for fit is just to make sure that the shoulder, the end of the jacket, is landing right at the end of where your shoulder is. If it's hanging off a bunch, that's way too big. Or if it's not quite reaching the end of your shoulder, that means it's too small. For the pants, you want them slim all the way through the leg and the bottom should land right around the top of your shoe. You definitely don't want there to be a bunch of fabric that's just like pooling all around the top of your shoe. It's gonna make you look sloppy. Mine are a little bit cropped and that's on purpose. That's just my personal preference, but wherever you're renting your tucks from, they should have no problem doing simple alterations. So if you put the pants on and they're too long, tell them, hey, I just need them to be a little bit shorter so that they fit you how you want them to. Take a screenshot of the video right now and take it with you. Tell them this is how you want your suit to fit. Now, as always, accessories are where you can start to separate yourself, especially if you're going just with a classic black tuxedo. I would always recommend a bow tie, something in a mid-sized classic black is never gonna go out of style. It's always gonna look really good. But if you did decide with your date that you guys do wanna do a little bit of matching or something, go with a colored bow tie or a patterned one. This is a perfect place for you to add a little bit of personality. If you decide to wear a watch, keep it very minimal, something small like this because you don't want anything too flashy, distracting from the rest of your outfit. And then in terms of jewelry, I'm a huge fan of a ring, like a signet style ring like this, especially with a tuxedo. Get yourself some gold cufflinks, some gold button covers, and you're gonna look fantastic. Also some black socks and black shoes. Any rental place is gonna have a decent pair. The patent leather, all black shoes are great. If you do have a pair of black loafers, those are gonna look awesome as well. Already, you are looking good. So the next direction you can go in is, if classic doesn't really feel like your style, you can follow in my footsteps and go bold. Although there are plenty of ways you can go bold and look a lot better than I did, let me show you. Wearing a statement jacket and a solid colored pair of pants is always gonna be an awesome move, a really bold move with a tuxedo. Whether it's the classic white dinner jacket with black pants, or like a red jacket with black pants, or something like this, a multicolored jacket with a solid colored pair of pants that are purple, so they're a little bit different, but you're still sticking within that same combination. I'm a big fan of this move because the fit is still gonna be similar to the classic style, so you're gonna look well put together and nice. However, it's really fun to get creative and go with some crazy color combinations. Be sure that you're keeping the fit of everything exactly the way we talked about with the black tuxedo. The shoulder should land right on your shoulder blade. The jacket should fit relatively snug around your stomach area and the pants should be nice and slim, not too long. Because you are going with a really bold tux combination, you wanna keep your accessories a little bit more tame just to balance things out. For shoes, if you have something that balances nicely with the colors of your outfit, I say go for it. Or if you just wanna do black like you did in the first one, that's totally acceptable. Even something like these two-tone loafers that I have are really fun and retro, but they still are super classic and they fit within the mold of everything else. And finally, the third direction you can go in is, 
If classic just wasn't really enough and bold was just way too much, then a mixed style might be that perfect medium for you. This is a combination of the two where you wear a tux that is all the same color, except it's just a little bit more of a different color than what you might expect. This purple tux I had custom made for me for my wedding. It was the one thing that I required. I just really wanted to wear a purple tuxedo. I love the fact that it's still super classic in terms of the fit and the design and the details, yet it's also totally different because of the color. Everything else you're wearing can be exactly the same as the classic tuxedo. Your shirt, your tie, your watch, your jewelry, your shoes, your socks, the whole thing can be completely the same except you're gonna stand out more simply because of the color of your suit. If a bright color like this purple one is still just like too much, it's not your style, you can do like a navy blue. That's a little bit more classic, except it is just a slight sidestep from the classic black. Ultimately, it's up to you and your tastes, but at least now you know that there are some different options and different directions you can go in. My favorite place, the most positive experience that I've had is the Black Tux. It's all online. They have tons of different style options, really fun colors. The all black classic one, as well as the super bold pattern jacket one, those are both from the Black Tux. But also classic stores like the Men's Warehouse, they're starting to get a little bit more bold with their options, but you can also just really rely on them to have really solid classics. I do think doing a tuxedo as opposed to just throwing on the same old suit that you wear to most of your other upscale occasions is a really smart idea for prom because it's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be memorable. It's a once in a lifetime kind of thing going to your senior prom. So make it fun, wear something crazy. That's what I did. If you're not exactly sure which direction you wanna go in, like I said, bring some photos with you. Go into the store, show them what you like, and then find out what they have available that might be similar. And they might have something totally different that you've never even seen before. And that's pretty awesome. That's fun to do. And there you go. I hope this was helpful for you guys. As always, if you have any questions, you can drop them down in the comments if you want. If you prefer, you can send me a DM on Instagram. Go follow me there as well as on TikTok for lots of other style tips and outfit ideas. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Tell a friend about the channel and I will see you on the next one. Bye.